how to use the rand between function in Excel with four different practical ways, four different practical examples. We can see here how can we generate a raffle and that way pick a winner through this list that I have here. We can also see how can we generate a random data for uh, testing that we can do in a spreadsheet, for example. So we can also generate random data using the rand between function. We can also generate random dates and random numbers. Basically, to use the rand between function, you're going to need to equal sign in a cell and then rand between, double click to select, one, two. And the only two things that you need to input here is a bottom value and a top value. You can either use negative numbers or also positive numbers, for example. Let's start here, generate uh, some random numbers. Let's say I want to generate a random number that is in between 0 up to 10, for example. So 0, comma. 10, for example. Close parentheses and then enter. Now, every time I update my spreadsheet or if I close the spreadsheet and open it again, the number is going to be automatically changed for me. But how can I automatically change the number, update the spreadsheet without the need to close the spreadsheet? You can press the F9 key, for example. So F9 key. That way you can update the cell where you have this function. Or you can also, let's say, double click in any cell that you have, double click in a cell and then press enter. The function is also be automatically updated for you if you double click in a cell and then press enter, for example, but I think it's easier to press the F9 key. We can also use here, as I said, negative numbers. So let's say the bottom number here is going to be minus 100, for example, and uh, the top one is going to be 100. Enter. Whenever I update here the spreadsheet right, using the F9 key, as you guys can see, the numbers is changed. I can also use another type of uh, numbers here that is a decimal number, for example. Instead of using uh, the decimal number itself, a fraction within the parentheses, after we just finish the function, so rent between function, open and close parentheses, I'm going to divide it by 10, for example, divide by 10. That way you're going to have a fraction. We're going to have a decimal number uh, with one decimal number. Enter. And now every time now I just update here the spreadsheet, as you guys can see, I'm going to have a fraction. Now we can go here to the second example where we can generate ran random dates and we can use the same principles that we just learned before. A date in Excel is basically a value. I'm going to show you here. Let's say I'm going to input here the date of today, today's date. So let me put input here. And as you guys can see here, is today's, my today is September 4th of 2023, for example. We are used to see dates like this, with this correct formatting, let's say that way. But Excel stores dates in the, in the system here using values itself. Let me show you. I'm going to click here in the cell, Home tab, and uh, instead of using date as the format, I can click here and change a number, for example. And as you guys can see, the today's date is equal to 45173, for example. This is today's date. We can use this logic and this principle to generate random dates, or we can use the today function to help us with that. Let me show you here. Instead of you just typing manually the today's date, I can actually use the equal sign today function. Double click here, want you to select, and then press enter. The today function is always gonna return for me the today's date whenever I open this spreadsheet. Okay? We can use it together. We can basically use the today's date and then append the rand between function with the today's function. Equal sign, today, double click here, one, two, close parentheses. Now we are already gonna have the day, the date of today, for example. But I'm gonna append here the rand between function, plus sign, and then rand between, one, two, two, select. I can either add some values here, add some days to the date that I have, or I can also subtract some days. And uh, I'm gonna, let's say, Subtract 100 from today's date, comma, and I can also add 100 days. Close parentheses and then press enter. Whenever now I update my spreadsheet, as you guys can see, the dates are automatically changed for me. With these two principles that we just learned, generate random numbers and generate random dates, we can create a random spreadsheet, a random data to use for testing, or let's say you need to test a new chart that you just learned it. You can create a random data set for you, and that way you can check this new chart that we just learned it. To, to do it, we can use the random between function to help us. So let's say I'm gonna, I have here the date, product, and total. 
I'm going to start with the product. Let's say here I can uh, type in item 01, for example. I can click in the cell in the right down corner, I can click hold and drag down. That way, Excel is going to create a sequence for me from 1 up to 10, for example. 1, 2, 3, and, and so on, so on. Now I can move on here, let's say, to the total. And I can create some random totals, random sales values, let's say that way. Equal sign, rand between. Let me just double click here, 1, 2 to select. I can use here a bottom and a top value. As bottom, I'm going to use, let's say, 100. And for the top, comma, I want to use, let's say, 999, for example. Close parentheses, enter. I can click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down. And to put the number as currency, for example, you can select everyone here. Click in home tab, and here to the right, you can select here accounting or general and change to currency, for example, like this. Or you can also select the option accounting, like this. Okay. I have here basically no decimal numbers. Actually, I have zero as decimal numbers. But if you actually want to add some decimal numbers here, so let's say $9,900 and uh, in 51 cents, you can add the cents. You can, you can actually do it. Just need to divide the numbers that we have by 100, for example. So let's say here in this first cell, one, two. In this 100 as the bottom, I'm going to add two more zeros because I'm going to divide by 100. So let me input here. Two more zeros to because I want to stay in this range 100 up to 999. Okay, and here in this 999, I'm gonna add more two times the, the nine value, for example. And I'm gonna divide everyone by 100. Enter now. I can click here in the right corner of the cell and drag down like this. And we're done. Whenever now I update here the these values, as you guys can see, it's always changed for me. I can also do the same thing here for the date. I'm going to start here to using a start point. It's going to be the today dates, for example. So equal sign, today, parentheses, close parentheses, and then enter. Now I'm going to add to this date a random value, for example. Equal sign, rand between function, double click it. I can use either, let's say, one, or I can actually add a hundred to the date. Enter. Okay, I got here a date, but it's not actually what I need because I need to append the previous cell to this function right here, rand between function. So let me delete it. Equal sign, the previous cell added to the rand between function. Double click here to select. The bottom can be 1 and the top can be 100. Close parentheses, enter. Now I can click here and drag down, and we're basically done. Whenever I update here now this data set or press in the F9 key, for example, as you guys can see, the value is always changed for me. If you, let's say, you already want to stick with the values that you have right now, you can select everyone, right click, you can call, and then right click, you can paste values, for example, values like this. Okay, now the values stay this way because it's not a function anymore, it's just a value now. Now I can select everyone here and create the chart that I need to test, for example, insert, column chart, column chart. Okay, here we got the chart that I was need to test. I can move on now here for the fourth practical example that is to generate a raffle. The first thing that we need to do a raffle in Excel is to have some participants or some names. And uh, you're going to pick randomly one of these names and as a winner. I already have the names. Now I need to generate here to create a sequence that I start from one up to the end of my list, for example. So let's say here, I, I know that I have 38 names. So my sequence needs to start in one up to 38, for example, because we're going to use this range from one up to 38 as the criteria in the range between function. So I can start here, type in one and uh, in the next row two, in the next row three and so on, so on. But instead of doing it manually, we can select this cell right here and double click here, or I can click, hold and drag down because that way Excel is going to continue the sequence for me. Like this, for example. Okay, we're done with the second step. The first one is to have the names. The second one is to have the, the sequence from one up to the end of the list. Now here to the right, I can randomly generate a number that is in between the range that we just used before. From one up to 38, for example. Equal sign, rand between function, double click to select. The bottom is going to be 1, comma, and the top value is going to be 38. Close parentheses, enter. Now we already have 
almost everything works here. If I update the value, I can see the winner, for example. So let's say one, two, three. Okay, the number 29 is the winner. But instead of checking manually who is the number 29, for example, Donna, I can use the xlookup function or the vlookup function to bring it back as a result the names that correspond with this value right here, that match with the value. Equal sign vlookup function. Double click here, want you to select. The lookup value is going to be my, the number 29, the number of the winner, for example. Comma. My table array is going to be all this data set that I have, the number and the names, everyone here. I'm going to select everyone like this. Okay. Now I can come back here. Comma. The column index number is going to be the number two because the column that I want to bring it back as result is my column number two. The first column is the number and the second one is the name. So this is why I'm going to use as criteria the number two. Okay. Because I want to bring it back the names and the names is my column number two. So two, comma again, and I want to use an exact match. Double click here on two, close parentheses, and we done. Enter. Now we have either the number of the winner and also the name of the winner. And whenever now I update the spreadsheet, as you guys can see, either the number and the name of the winner are automatically updated for me, and the number and the name are matching with each other, okay? As you guys can see here, number 10 is Elizabeth, and now if I check manually in the list, number 10 indeed is Elizabeth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how can we use the range between function in Excel with these four practical examples. If you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As everybody has a new video, I see you there.